Good day YouTube. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In this video I'm going to attach a GPS discipline oscillator to my Sun SDR2DX. This is the Leo Barnard GPS DO and I ordered this online uh, from their website directly and it's coming from the United Kingdom. So on the sides we have the GPS input, a USB input. I can connect that to my computer to provide power or use an external 5 volts through 12 volts DC power. But I plan on using the uh, computer cable. That's this here. So that's the connection and it's a regular USB-A connection to the computer. That's going to provide power. Now this particular model has two outputs. So switching on to the right side of the unit, you see I have two outputs. So I'll be putting one attached to my Sun SDR2 DX and when I bring my Anon 200 D to this station, I will connect the other GPS timing to the Anon 200D. This is a GPS antenna and uh, I think the cable, I think the cable comes with 15 feet, but don't quote me on that. You can uh, visit their website and they'll give you more information. What it doesn't come with is this BNC to SMA connection. So the BNC will be connected to the back on the right hand side of the GPS DO and the SMA will be connected to the back of the Sun SDR2 back there. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, we're looking at my antenna pass through on the side of the building here. I'm going to route the GPS antenna from that pass through and route it to this area right here on this ledge. Um, it's kind of like a roof and uh, that's the second floor where the horizontal loop is located up there. Let me see if I can zoom in. That's the uh, 40 meter horizontal loop but I'll be connecting the GPS puck over here somewhere. This is where I'm going to connect the GPS input. If you look closely, there's a reference input. That's where I'm going to make the connection here, not where it says GPS. Right now, there's no connection. It's just an open hole for the uh, GPS input it's not being used. Okay, I'm just going to move those things aside. This is the uh, the coax that I'm going to use for the GPS input. Just take the, uh, the SMA connection and I'm going to plug it in to the reference where I showed you earlier. Now I got the USB cable and this will be providing the power to the GPS DO and I'll just connect it here to the USB I'm going to use uh, the output number one, the left side. That will connect the BNC connection. Okay, easy enough. You'll find a good place to put this. Let me just route this cable through the back side. 
Okay, there we go. Number one, output. Cool. Because I don't need all these cables, I'm gonna connect it to the uh, Dell, the Dell hub there. I'm just going to tie this bundle together. Just have enough lead so I can hide the rest of this bundle. I'll just use the existing wire ties. And for cosmetics, I'm just going to route the cable behind this monitor stand. Okay, now it's getting power. And it's getting the power through the USB connection right here. Now I'm going to connect the GPS antenna. So I got to route that antenna from inside, no, actually from the outside, because I can't pass this hucky puck through the uh, access port. So we're going to pass the wire from the outside to the inside. All right, let me take a break real quick. I'm going to finish up this uh, peanut butter pecan. There's nothing left in it, so I'm going to finish it, throw out the container. So let me finish up my ice cream and then we'll continue routing that GPS antenna. I'm just going to fish it through. I don't have any fishing wire. I'm just going to see if it uh, snags. If it snags, I'm going to have to get a wire. Okay, let's take a look in the inside and see if it passed through. All right, yeah, it went through. Here it is. I want to pull some slack and I'm going to connect this to the, the GPS DO. All right. So here we go, here's the GPS, the input. Okay, all connections are made. So I'm just gonna set this aside. leave that right there okay what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the GPS antenna and uh, route it up the the ladder there and put it on the platform let's try this stunt I'm gonna climb up this ladder one-handed holding the cam holding the camera All right, so we're not quite out on top of the roof, but here it is. That's where it's located here. My GPS hockey puck antenna. And it's routed through here. I put some duct tape here to prevent uh, chaffing. So the cable comes down here and I, get, I have a little bit of tension to it because when it, when it gets really windy, I don't want it to flop in the wind. So I put those uh, coax guide rails, I guess you want to call them, and into the junction box. And I already have it secured. Welcome to my desktop. First thing we're going to do while we uh, have the expert electronics uh, software running. It doesn't have to be running, but uh, I left it running. So we go to options, and we're going to use the external reference here. So this little box here, I'm going to check that. Apply. 
And one other thing to check. I need to go to the expert tab. I have the frequency coefficient. I was off by 100 hertz. So I'm going to put that back to zero. Zero point zero. Enter. Apply. And click OK. So we're now using the external reference for the timing. And let me turn on the audio. Currently on 10 meters. Let's see if we can get a radio check with somebody. Uh, secure 10, secure, secure 10. Charlie Tango 9, flash. Union Radio 9, India Delta X ray. Whiskey 2, whiskey. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. November 2, 8, Charlie, you're 5 and 9. Uh, thank you, QRZ. November 4, Victor Foxtrot, Romeo. Norway 4, Victor Fox Radio, 5 and 9. You're 5 9, 59. I'm in South Texas right now, South Texas. I just uh, changed my modulation. Am I uh, dead on frequency? Am I on frequency okay? Yes, yes, your frequency is okay. Very good, Ivan. Uh, 73s, my name is Darren. I'll talk to you later. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. November 4, Victor Fox Romeo, envelope. Thank you for the contact. All right, cool, man. Um, that was Ivan. He was in uh, Madeira Island. And uh, I log, I'll log him in the Q, uh, QRZ here, log 408 OM. All right, very good. So um, I'm happy. Um, obviously it's working. I'm dead on frequency, 28.500. It didn't, it didn't say that I was off frequency. So, uh, I'm happy with the, uh, the addition to my shack, having a GPS DO. All right. Let me try this again. Uh, N4 VFR, uh, N4 VFR here. Are you guys copy me? I'm pushing, uh, 87 Watts. Yeah, I got a copy on you. Oh, you're sounding good, Mike. But yeah, your, your, your audio is a, a little bassy, though. Um, can you adjust that? Okay, I turned off the equalizer, but uh, any changes on that? Uh, a little bit clearer, but I, I hear you, no problem. Uh, anybody else here, Darren? No, he's too low. Well, ask him what he did with his amp. My amp? My amp is still in Florida. It's still in Florida. I thought he packed it up and took it with him. All right, I'll catch you guys later. I got to take Mama to work, and uh, I'm eating uh, dinner here with the uh, my little girl. N4 VFR, I'm clear. All right, Darren. Well, I, I hear you. I, I copied everything you said loud and clear this way, so uh, you're making a fire trip to Florida. Ten. The other guy's having a rough time, but uh, all right, guys, take it to work. We'll be here. KG2 MF. Roger, Mike, uh, S9 plus 5, S9 plus 10 at, at times, N4 VFR, 73. I have a correction to add. When you add your GPS DO, remember I told you to go to options, and we're going to enable the uh, external reference, and we had this mark checkbox. And also go under the expert and make sure that your frequency coefficient was 0, 0. 0.0. To save this, I told you to click apply. Well, it's actually you need to press right. Push right button after changing coefficients because we changed that coefficients from 100 hertz to 0, 0. 0.0. And then you click on right. So that saves the value onto the radio and then you can apply and then click OK. I just wanted to point that out to you guys. I got one more thing to show you guys. I'm operating remote control right now as I'm currently in Houston Intercontinental at the hotel. Houston, Texas. All right, so the software we're going to download it's actually from Leo Bodnar. 
electronics so here's the website right up here and the unit that i have is the one with two outputs so it's this one right here it's the middle one the uh, gps reference clock precision gps reference clock okay so we're going to click on that and uh, the software i believe it's right here on this tab called the product download we click on that and let's see the configuration software click this one here to download all right so it's completed it's download so the next thing we do is you go into your downloads folder and then you run the program so i'm running it as the administrator and then click on yes so this is what we have you move it to the middle and uh, that's my serial number uh, i got both output one and two enabled there's nothing really i need to do here i mean you can click on find so it finds the, the satellite and gets the the most accurate positioning and then once it's populated and then you can update that so it gives it a few more minutes you saw that there was a red flashing no phase lock loop and once that's uh, completed and then you have the most accurate GPS timing So I just want to point that out to you guys that there is a software and you can download if you have the same model number that I'm using now. All right, guys, I am so happy that I was able to be dead on frequency utilizing this GPS DO alongside with the Expert Electronics Sun SDR2. So hey, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe to my channel gives me motivation to make more videos for you guys. My name is Captain Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. 73s and have a great day.